Hi everybody, it's Jim the Gentleman Crafter and tonight we're going to try something new that I've never done before. I'm going to try to cover a baseball cap with some fun foam and some turbo tacky glue and some beacon fabric tack. I Facebook everybody today to see what the best glue was and I just had these two because that's what Joanne's had and that's where I was. So I'm going to try that out and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get out my little fun foam. Um, it's a really inexpensive project because the little caps were $2.99. Here they are. $2.99. And the fun foam was $1.49 a sheet for a big sheet, which you'll see in a second. So I'm going to cut those sheets down. We'll, we'll cut some out of the with the die cutter and we'll go from there. So I'm going to go back down and I'm going to get my fun foam sheets. This is what they look like. This was, a, once again, $1.49. It was a little bit thicker. Probably about an eighth of an inch than the other stuff that was next to it for 99 cents. So I went with uh, a little bit thicker for $1.49. And I'm just going to cut this down into several strips that I know that might fit my die. And my die is going to be about this thick. Hey, KK. So maybe be but um, two, four, probably I could get two cuttings out of those. Maybe we'll try. So you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cuts out of one sheet. So that's pretty good. I cut her back over. That weighs a ton. Move everything out of the way here. Hi, Bunny. How are you, love? Put that on there. through so I've got my die cut pieces three of them right there um, I could probably get one more little one out of that so I'm going to save this scrap just in case I need little ones okay how is your mushrooms how are your mushrooms Okay, so we make it the coolest mushrooms ever. I'm good, Bunny. Thank you. Doing good. I think that's good enough. I got a pile of them, but cutting some of these while I was waiting um, to stream. So I think I'll cut no more um, until I need them. Let's see what I need. So I'm going to put this away. But I just want to show you all about how easy it was to cut that foam. It's really great. So I'm going to put this away. And now I've got my pieces. I have to pull apart and shell shell the beans. She oh, tell them about your mushrooms, y'all. I mean, tell them about uh, okay, they're awesome. Well, I pick all these things out, which could take a while. Her, she used a bowl, or do you want me to tell everybody? Maybe a secret. Nobody's talking tonight. Everybody's so quiet. Can y'all see good enough? Is it light enough in here? Or? Mm -hmm. 
Nobody's talking. It's just going to be me talking. Well, let me see what I can talk about. I can talk about work, which has been crazy. I could talk about finishing my steampunk soiree stuff. I'm feeling pretty good. I've got a few things to kit up when uh, my ranger order gets here. And then I'll have it off and ready to go. Tutorial is done for that, which makes me feel really good because y'all may know how I am about tutorials. Um, let's think. So everything is kitted and ready to go. Except for some uh, little things that I'm waiting for, and that'll be done this week. I I'm watching. Oh, Rob's not okay. You're doing your nails. Well, then I'll just keep talking. I need a glass of uh, water or something, really. My throat is so dry. The allergies are so bad. My allergies have been really, really bad lately. Um, I don't know what from. I'm watching. So I'm sorry if this takes so long, but it's one of those things. Keep doing your nails. Fix dinner. Think about me. Not eating. Should we have tonight's um oh, it was always Tuesdays, take out Tuesday, isn't it? And so Schlotsky's tonight. And that's a sandwich shop in Georgetown. It's not in Austin. I think I originated in Austin. We used to get it every Thursday night. My mom would go off to a meeting and uh, my dad doesn't cook, or my dad didn't cook, and so we would always have Schlotsky's on Thursday nights and watch the Waltons. Do y'all remember the Waltons coming on Thursday nights? Hi, CK. Hi, Zandra. How are you, honey bunny? Y'all remember the Waltons? Na -na 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 -na. Is that the right song? So I think this is probably the longest part of the whole process, besides probably gluing these things on, I imagine. <clears throat> but I'd rather get it done now than sit there and do it later. Pick out each one as you go. Might as well have a big stack stack going. You remember Army? That's awesome. It was such a good show. I tell you, I thought that grandfather, I don't remember his real name, but I love that grandfather. He was just such a wonderful grandfather. But you wanted a grandfather. Y'all probably know some clever way to get these out faster, but I don't. I am not like you, probably Xandra or Catherine. I am, what, Catherine has like four outfits, she told me the other day. And I was like, are you serious? And then she said she had like four or five wigs. And that was the only thing that excited me because I said, can I have a wig to cover up my bald spot? So, um, she's got, what, four outfits. I think I've got a couple. And, um, <clears throat> I think this might be Caesars, so we'll have to do a good job. I've got two hats. And once again, I don't know if you heard me say this at the very beginning. This, this, if this works, it could be a really fast, cheap, or inexpensive, I guess is what we're supposed to say now, project. Because the hat was $2.99 at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you can get it at your, your craft store. And it was, Caesar said, um, it was with the aprons. He went by and picked them up because I went by Joanne's and they had nothing like a cap that I could find. And um, the fun foam sheets I picked up for $1.49 each and probably used three so far and got all these um, die cuts. So um, I got black, 
black caps. Here they are. And you can kind of see, I tried out the blue. Maybe y'all can't see the black on the black, but let me see if I can get up there. You have two? Oh good, I think I have about two. I just knew you were going to say you had 16. One for every 30 minutes. What, Phyllis Johnson, that Waltons are on? You know these circles would be, all this would be kind of fun to do something with, but one day well, I got enough time. Okay, so now I've got my group. Okay, I'm going to do, I have two hats, like I said, and this one is the one that I started with the Fabri-Tac. And it fits, it holds really, really well, really quick, which was awesome. It took a little bit longer for me to glue on top of one on top of the other. It took a little bit longer for it to hold. The thing I like about it is it was fast. The bad thing that's driving me nuts, it's like hot glue, it's got little strings everywhere. So I tried the um, Eileen's Turbo Techy glue, right? And it does a beautiful job. You can't really see it. You can kind of see where it's still kind of drying, where there's a little bit of a white spot. I guess you can't see that very well. And um, it's on there really, really well. So I think they're both really wonderful. So I think, but I'm going to, since I've got, since I am started going with the Eileen's, I I'm sorry, since I started going with the Fabri-Tac on this one, I'm just going to do Fabri-Tac on this one and then um, do the Eileen's on this one and probably not both of them uh, while you're watching because my mother warns me every time she said you go too on too long you're too long so um, I'll make it short so nobody's like having crisis and I'm just gonna do this one and just keep going with it I'm gonna cut this off once again it's a nice little cap for $2.99 I mean it's not fabulous but it's not too bad and then I'm going to go over and see if I can't go over it with Gilder Space. So that's my plan. Oh, I'm supposed to tell everybody about the mushrooms. Okay. So, um, okay, y'all, let me get something to drink real quick. My, like I said, my thing is, um, my, my throat's real dry. Hold on. Be right back. Topo Chico. It is Mexican mineral water, and it's awesome. Have y'all ever seen it? The grocery, it's good, good, good. Did I see Barb is on here? Hey, Barb. Or is Barb not on here? She is on here. Hey, Barb. Oh, I was, oh, well, I was talking about the mushrooms. Oh, I just took it away. Um, it is like really the water y'all it's got like more combination in it that you ever wanted and the cool thing is is you've had a heavy dinner or if you um, your tummy's a little unsettled it's awesome so um, just just saying it's good stuff okay I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing here I probably should go with big stuff first and move the little ones to it so once again I'm using the Fabri-Tac um, glue and could take a while but I think it'd be a cool thing to just wear to the anywhere really you could do it with any kind of uh, um, I'm bringing over my dead head um, any kind of uh, die cut that you had so I'm using this to kind of push against and once again, probably going to um, try to use the big ones first, maybe, and then uh, go around with the smaller ones on top. Who wants pepperoni? I want some pepperoni. It's 
So I did notice you kind of have to hold it kind of and kind of mold it. And once again, I'm using this little phrenology head, phrenology, phrenology, phrenology head that I have. I um, had it forever. Um, just to, just is perfect for this. Or you could use a wig head or whatever you got just to kind of mold it around the hat shape, the round, make it round. So look for another big one. Oh, for the Lord of sakes on my soul. So I'm just covering this. I'm not sure if I can see this. Caesar's got this um, camera up really high. Um, and if you can't see it, let me know. I know I'm working black on black, which is not the best situation ever. But um, I'm just gluing every one of those little spokes down because I know they'll want to pull up. And then I'm going to stick it on. Hi, Fran! Oh my gosh, it's Fran! I missed you too, love. It's good to see ya. Yay for Fran! So where are we going with pepperoni? Because I want some pizza. Oh, it took you forever to get on? Who knows about you stream anymore? I tell ya. It's crazy. So just about like that, and that takes it. I mean, it pretty much holds it. And if you're careful, you won't have all those glue strings like I have, but who knows? So I'm gonna try over here with another big one. Um, and once again, um, this is Beacon's um, Fabri-Tac. Uh, thanks to Stacy. Um, I can't think of Stacy's last name at the moment. But we went to Italy with her and she's awesome. She's a sweet lady. Um, and everybody gave me their own opinion and I got both. Um, Eileen's uh, Super Turbo, what is it called? Eileen's Turbo. Turbo Glue, which is awesome. I'm really excited about this because when I was using it a while ago, it's really, really cool. Y'all probably know all about it. I don't use, you know, mainly use uh, glossy accents on everything. If I could have used it on this, I would. Xandra, we are getting there, yes, Wednesday. Because we have to, we have to, it's in our contract to be there Wednesday to set up stuff for you guys. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to sign to see everybody. I know, I didn't either, uh, Barb, until they were saying about it on Facebook, but that's it. It, it glues faster. It says, let me see, I can read it to you. Y'all can see the top of my bald head. Hello, everybody. So it says, Turbo Tacky Glue, all-purpose adhesive, stronger, faster drying. And then on the back it says, cuts drying time by more than 50%, which is awesome. Dries clear and flexible, which was even awesome because I knew that this hat would want to move. Low odor. Features more resin for a superior bond. No run formula, which is awesome. So that's it. Okay. Back down. <clears throat> is this too high, y'all? Or should I get down on it more? Get down on it. Oh, you get there Thursday? You'll be there by noon on Thursday, Sandra? Can y'all see this once again? Or do I need to lower the, the cam down? Um, Barb, I don't know if you can see this. Well, it doesn't exactly dry. It had a little scooch out. It says it dries clear. It doesn't look like it's too matte. You can kind of see. Let me see if I can see it. Right here, maybe. Where's my finger? Can you see where it's kind of, you can kind of see it? But it's not too bad. I mean, really, when you put the, the gilder's paste on top of it, it's going to be okay. 
Um, lower might be better. Okay, let me lower it. Okay, God knows what could happen, but let's try it. Is that better, y'all? I feel like we need more light. I've got every light on in here. Move this light. Is it light enough? That's better. <clears throat> Oops, glued that to the head. Did it really run through? It did. Wow. Okay. So what's been up? Tell me everything. What I must try to think what's been happening in this last week. Y'all probably saw that I got all my G45 projects out and ready to go. In fact, she tweeted, she didn't tweet, she Facebooked um, some projects. Oh my gosh, y'all. These designers this year are to die for. Oh my gosh. I was looking at um, some of them, and I hate to look at other people's stuff because it's like, then I go like, oh, ah, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Okay, so I do something, then I wouldn't have to say that I ever saw it. But I was looking, oh my gosh, there are some beautiful things this year. I don't think so, Fran. I think I'm just going to try to do the, the gears and have the black in the background. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Yes, a cat raining cats and dogs is awesome. Why Gilders after I don't know. I don't know. I just, you know, I can go back. I'm not gonna like heavily do them. I'm just gonna go over and, you know, touch them up. Because I want I, you know, I don't know. I mean I'll let the black with the Gilders paste. I'll let black with um, steampunky looking stuff. Even though it's mainly brown, I've decided. This is kind of jelly-ish. It's weird. Weird glue. But I like it. Ooh, Barb's got company. Is it a man friend? Barb's gonna have company tomorrow. Honey, I don't have copper. I've got, oops, you know what? There is a pleat right there. It's gonna cause a problem. Maybe, better put that in there. Um, I've got, um, African bronze. I got the ones that I normally have. So I'm gonna use those up. Let's see, will that fit up in here? I can cut those off and that way it can be big. Let me see. What else has happened this week? It's only two days in the week, and I keep on thinking it's like been forever. I had a good weekend. I had Kay and Barb over helping me get all my stuff together for um, um, the steampunk soiree. They helped me get everything kind of kitted and cut. So that was done, and that was very nice of them. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. And um, <clears throat> tutorial was done on Sunday. Yesterday morning, I sent it off to Catherine. Um, I don't know anything else. I was really freaked out because Sunday I was so busy like going 90 miles an hour on everything for so long and I was telling Kay and Barbara back last night on the phone we had a conference call that um, I was just, I always didn't, I felt like something was wrong on Sunday because there was nothing to do. I mean there was lots to do but I was like just sitting behind a computer was not like, I felt, I felt like I was doing something wrong. That guilt was coming in so um, 
but it was good to get all that done. And now I'm trying to plan for um, some stuff I'm going to do in Chicago in uh, October. It's kind of my next big thing. So. I don't know why my tutorial is done. Pictures taken, all done. It's going to be cool. I do need to do, um, um, what do you call it? A, uh, oopsie, we got to get the wrinkles out of this. To make it look ugly underneath there. Um, uh, well, not a PDF, a, a thingy, what do you call it? Uh, oh, Jimbo, I wish your brain would work better. PowerPoint presentation for the slideshow. Um, not really slideshow, but the how and a teach is with the slide uh, projector. So I need to bring out all the highlights and stuff that we need to do. And it's going to be fun. I think it's a fun project. I like it. I think Barb and Kay got to see it. I think they liked it. They didn't. They didn't tell me. We're all going to Barb's. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that glossy, yucky string stuff, but we'll see what happens. The Blue Angels? What is the Blue Angels, y'all? Because I'm ignorant. Is that like, a, it's like, are they air people that do um, airplane stunts and stuff? Jet show. No, I think I saw that then. I don't know how I knew that, but something was on. I don't know. I don't know how I know that, but anyway, I kind of kind of ring a bell, but not not good enough. Hello, ding dong. Cool, I'd love to see them. Where are you going to post them? On Facebook, you said? Kay is so bad, just show, you'll, you'll be kicked out of the class for sure. I'm going to cut those ends off. Okay, now I'm going to start back. I think I'm going to stand up now. Get to the point where you have to stand up. Let me put this one here. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can do that. It's almost one of those things I was I'd love to paint it. You know what I mean? Okay. 
Oh my gosh, how coincidental is that? Barb, 20, uh, 21, that's amazing. Coinkadinky. Yeah, I almost want to brush that too. I hate the way that, that looks. Oh well. Okay, now I'm going to try. I'm going to put one up here. Well, I'll go over it. Let's see. <coughs> At least I can put it around that little thingy. Let's see what happens. to put it right in the center if I could, but I don't think it's going to do it, is it? Nope, it's going to break. Yeah, I'm not working. Nope, off, trash. Another one real quick. Did we finish with uh, case mushrooms yet, or? She made these awesome mushrooms out of uh, pans. Our bowls. Sorry, now I'm starting to give them my crap and I have to remember I need to talk. Uh, how's it going, everybody? Everybody's good. Y'all talk about yourself, so I'm good. Okay. Some over here. I could probably cut that off. Yeah, I could. Oops, wrong glue. Okay, over here. I'll just cut off the excess, I think. I think so, Barb. I was going to do one for Caesar. Um, I was going to do one for me. And I'm going to do one out of, again, I don't know if you were here, but I'm going to do one out of Fabri-Tac and one out of I, oops, Eileen Super Turbo Goodness. Turbo Tacky Glue. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just try to come off of the front here um, and not put it down under. Okay, this is my hands are starting to go. Wait. Okay, what's going on? Uh, what would it look like if you use two different color gilder space? I'm going to use probably about three because when I like to do that steampunk stuff, and you'll probably see that if you're around uh, for the show, but um, I love to use several different metals together. I think it's really cool. So I like to use silver. I have, um, I have German, I think it's called German silver, which is really gold um, and a lighter gold. And then I have African bronze. And I have uh, several, and so I'm going to try. Uh, so I'm going to try. I'm going to try do. I think it would be better with um, actually different color metals on it. So not just one color. If you remember seeing my top hat that we did with this fun foam too, I definitely used uh, several different uh, colors. I think it makes it more interesting. Okay. 
I'm just trying to see. Okay, let me read what I'm saying. Am I packed? Oh no. I'm not packed. I don't know if this looks retarded or not. Oh, am I supposed to say that? I don't know if this looks crazy or not. I'm going to put one of these up here. Maybe the Gilder's Pace will bring it out. We'll see. Um, I think uh, that I am not packed. I am still waiting for some of my costumes to come. I am. I don't even know where, but you know, this is the first chance I've had really to figure out what's going on. And uh, yet, I mean, this is my first free night. So last night we were kidding some more. We got some more stuff in, kitted that up. And uh, then I'll start packing. I think that Gilder's Pace will cover that, I hope. But I'm excited. I'm excited to see Washington. I've never been there. Everybody in my family has been, but I have not. My uh, niece went to uh, a girls' school in Virginia. And so everybody got to go. And I always had to work, so I never got to go and see it. But they went into Washington and... see so I'm excited to see it and did I tell y'all oh, I already told y'all I told y'all last a couple of weeks ago that was what was so funny is that the one thing Caesar wanted to see he said I want to go to Georgetown and it's like oh I thought oh because you want to see the same the same namesake as where we're from blah 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 and no it's where the exorcist stairs are Caesar loves scary movies I I like the old-fashioned scary movies the new ones that with all the gore and stuff, it makes me, it just makes me mad. I get mad. So I just like, come on, you can't, you don't know that that person's standing behind you. Come on. <clears throat> can't watch them. I don't have nightmares. It just makes me mad. I get upset. So let's go to another room. Are we, is this old? Because I've seen that before. I'm using Gilder's paste afterwards because I like to see the black, the black afterwards. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't, I'm not coating each one with serious Gilder's paste. I'm going to just touch it lightly, you know what I mean, with Gilder's paste. So I'm not, I mean, that's, that's the look that I was going for. So that's why. But I answered that a while ago. Sorry about that. And I think, you know, I don't think it would be bad for tickets on the black hat. It may. I don't know. We'll just have to sign out. Okay, now I'm going to go back over with some of these smaller pieces over the top. Hi, Sabella. How are you, love? Okay. We'll see if this works. It may not. It'd be cool if it did. I am good. Thank you. Hi, Patton. Hey, Stacy. Stacy, we were just talking about you a second ago. What were we talking about, Stacy, for? Stacy. Oh, Stacy told me about Fabritac. So that's what we're using. 
and it's working, but it's stringy and it reminds me of rubber cement maybe a little bit. But I'm not being very careful applying it either. So I have one of your favorite rings on today. When you go to Georgetown, eat at Bendeleros. We need to write that down. I think actually, um, I th well, I, you know, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to be at the grace of uh, Catherine for some of that. I think that she said that she would uh, cart Kathy and I around a little bit and Caesar. So I am. I think that sounds good. I'm going to need all the, the suggestions I can get. I love to eat food. Good food. Is it really good? What kind of food is it? Is it sounds like Mexican food? Is it good? That kind, or is it Bandoleros? It could be Mexican, or it could be Italian. Samela, probably. I've got a few hats to wear, but I think when we're wearing our T-shirts, um, we got some steampunk T-shirts. Um, I may I may wear this. I may may not. I don't, I don't know. So I'm hoping to. If it comes out, it'd be cool. If not, I'll make Caesar wear it, right? Because I'm hateful. Caesar will wear anything. Hi, Patty. It is. It does exactly what it is, Stacy. I was just reading your thing. It's exactly what it reminds me of, too. And I know. The only thing is, is I, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll be cutting gears out tomorrow night. I'm redoing my hat. I'm going to see the good one. Who knows? He needs a costume. And I said, don't worry about it, just wear a baseball cap with gears on it. I'll go get him a second. Oh, it's Mexican food. Oh, thanks for letting me know. That sounds good. I love Mexican food. I love it. It's about time for a break, so I'll go get him in a second. Let me just glue on a few more in here to cover up some of these holes, and we'll uh, I'll go get him. I want something different. Let's see this. I think I got it on my tongue. I was sitting here thinking I've got a string of something on my tongue. Hello? Ugh. Okay, there we go. No, I think we were talking about, um, I'm going to try to put um, Gilder Space on it. So after Caesar gets through with his spiel, I will start the Gilder Space. And uh, of course, I can't craft and talk, y'all. I'm just about decided. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? putting glue on. There's some things that, have y'all noticed that when you do stuff, I was like looking the other day and it's like I'm gritting on my teeth. I grit down or bite down on my teeth when I like cut paper and 
use the Emory board. It's like, what are you doing? Crazy mind. Pens in yellow. So Mel, she's doing good. In fact, I talked to her right before the show. So, and she's probably watching right now. She said she would. And um, she's doing good. She's had um, a, a trick knee. She has a bad knee. And we were just talking about um, she gets to start her uh, shots. She gets, I forgot the name of it. She told me already. Um, super knee, something that ends with a Z. Super knees or something. Super knees. Now that would be funny, wouldn't it? It's not super knees then. Um, it's, um, I don't know what it is, but it's a course of five shots that she gets over five weeks from her um, Arthur Scott. Is it Arthur Scott? That or whatever it is. And it really makes her feel a lot better. It makes her walk better, which makes you feel better mentally, pretty probably because uh, you can feel like your normal self. It makes you feel good. She has a problem with her knees really bad. So she's doing good. Especially when she gets those shots. Wasn't it pretty? The wedding was pretty. It was so good to see them get married and they're so happy together and that kind of stuff. that young love you know what I mean they're gonna conquer the world and it's awesome such a pretty venue that um, Brownwood right there was just a beautiful area okay I'm gonna let this drop for a second I'll go get Caesar I think it's pretty much covered and we will, I'll be back. If it doesn't work, we can at least say we tried, right? I'm going to cut this off, cut off all these little extras. We cut the hat too. And I'll go grab Caesar and let him entertain you for a second. While I go grab some coffee. Okay, hold up. Let's see, I'll go grab him. Can't stop looking at it. It's really cool looking. Anyway, I'll be right back. So, Slap? How do you know it's me? <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hi, Texas. Barb. Hi, Barb. Uh, do you like your new hat? Yes, I do love my new hat. Hello. Hello, Kay. Oh, yeah, that uh, crooked finger. <laughs> Very, my young, um, what do you call that? Young, um, crazy days when uh, I was uh, very wild and um, kind of crazy and uh, broke my pinky and never did anything about it. So just kind of crooked. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. Waving back at uh at Kay. Hey Sandra. <laughs> Let me see. I'm working on a book for it. This is really kind of cool, isn't it? Is this gonna be mine? Only yours. I'm gonna be styling. Uh, styling. I am. <laughs> Jen thought I was crazy, but 
I'm a I'm a big geek when it comes to Excel and Access and SQL and all that other stuff. And I'm um trying to uh, no, I'm not knitting anything. I'm trying to get this stupid database to work. And it's um if I can get it to work, it's going to be um published, not published, but it's going to be published within the company uh, to be used globally. And I'm almost there. So I'm like going to um um message boards and talking to all these geeky people in Excel and Access to try to create this huge macro to do this weird stuff with uh, email mergers. <laughs> so, see what I'm saying? Yeah, kind of easy. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So um, that, that's, that's, that's all I'm doing. I see what everybody's saying. Is Night Trip with Jim West? Yes, I think it is, actually. Yeah. Databases can be frustrating. It can be very frustrating because I'm trying to do some weird stuff about mergers and and uh, email mergers and email sends and you know trying to combine a whole bunch of stuff and it's um, to help with this email box that I have access to that they gave me last week that has 23,000 emails oh, Lord. and uh, don't want to be doing it manually. So I'm uh, trying to create this database so it can do it automatically. Then I can sit back and relax. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Congrats, Tim. I sure. Thank you. Orange paint, Barb. So, what else is everybody saying? Great Caesar. What company? Oh, it's a big computer company, stationed here, and we're Round Rock, Texas. You have to look up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm uh doing a lot of stuff for them, and uh, it's as a matter of fact, this coming um August. 14th, I will never forget that day, is going to be 19 years since I've worked there. So that's an extremely long time. Let's see. Let's see. Um, the owner, first name is Michael. <laughs> Michael, yes, you got that. No, it could be. It could be. So Michael. Anything else? <laughs> He started in his like garage and made a million dollars. No, not garage. Uh, dorm room. Oh, it was his dorm room. Yeah, yeah it was. I think Apple is the one that did it in the garage or IBM. I'm gonna put this down here. So okay, everybody. Yeah, you can keep talking. Keep talking. I'm just gonna put this down here. I'm putting silvers on. Silvers, silver, ink of gold first because it's the only silver I've got. But go ahead, Mr. Rodriguez. Oh, I'm just reading. I'm gonna put a little on the hat. No, no, I'm not consulting for them. I actually work for them. Um, for 19 years, he's worked for him. Yeah, for, for, <laughs> yeah, for 19 years, I've worked for them. <laughs> I just finished 35 years at a place of employment. Oh, wow, 35 years. That's a long time, that's 35 long time. years. Um, yeah. I wish I was a chef. You know, that's what I wanted to be. You know, that's what my dad wanted me to be. I always wanted to cook. You know, I had the body for it. <laughs> I got the body for it, too. <laughs> so, so um, I need to, uh, I would love to be, you know, to be a chef. Let me see the you know, I can't imagine y'all uh, how it would work. Is I, I, I'm just amazed. I really, y'all, I, I sit in awe and wonder how everything comes out all at once. And do y'all do that? And, and, <laughs> and yeah, and hot. And I, I, you know, I'm just don't know how to do it. You know what I mean? I burn things so badly, and I'm just saying that as a because I'm a typical guy. Sometimes when it would, well, most of the times when it cooks, the only thing I know how to do is really roast beef. But I just get I'm I'm just in awe of people who can make things all come out at once. I don't I don't you know I don't understand that. I think that's fascinating to me. I mean y'all probably take that for granted and it's like really how do you do that? <laughs> well, um, because I like to I like to not cook sometimes. You know, saying you know uh, then why do I bring you dinners if you can cook too? Because it's nice not to cook sometimes, like tonight. Slotsky's uh, cooked for me tonight. <laughs> but I wish I, you know, definitely wish I had more time to cook, you know, some funky stuff, but unfortunately, Jim won't eat it. You know, y'all, I'm not a fish eater. And everybody loves fish, and it's very healthy for you. I just, I don't know, everybody. My mom can do catfish, um, and, see, and, and I don't know... <laughs> If I'm, you know, I, I can do catfish, I can do shrimp, you know, um, but I'm just not a fish eater. 
And Caesar will cook all this funky fish stuff when I'm gone, and I'm grateful. And once again, I think that stems from having to get up at the crack of dawn to go fishing. And I love to go fishing. I thought that was fun. But to eat tuna fish sandwiches when you're fishing, mm -mm. I can barely, I can, I can't really eat tuna anymore. Um, my uh, my mom made the best. We always had that on Saturday. That was our lunch. It was tuna fish sandwiches and Lay's potato chips. And uh, but I just I'm not a fish eater. There's just some things I don't like the smell of it. And I don't like um, watermelon. I'm not a, water, a watermelon fan either. Oh, I love watermelon. Because uh, my olfactories are so sensitive, I think. And the smell of watermelon just kills me. Ugh. And then, you know, those were the best times, you know, we would be back home. My mom would get a big old watermelon and she would stand in front of the kitchen sink, literally, and just it. cut little pieces of watermelon. You know, and, we, and I would go and join her and there would be like three of us in front of the kitchen sink, cutting little pieces of watermelon and spitting the stupid little seeds in the, in the sink. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we would be talking. That's, I mean, just for hours. That was just so much fun. Sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Hey, everybody. Who's on? Hi, Mr. Brand. How are you? It's good to see all my old buddies. Yes, yeah, good family times. Good family times. Yeah. That was another thing. It was just weird. My mom, I'm a big, I love taking naps. And so does my mom. It doesn't matter where it's mom. My mom would go and take a nap. And then before you know it, before you know it, everybody would be in her big old king size bed, just laying down talking. Really? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that weird? Hey, Fran. Fran's here. Oh, that, that that stuff stinks. Yeah, but Actually, stink as, <laughs> didn't they say it, it doesn't always stink as bad as um the other stuff? Uh, rub and buff, but um, definitely does have an odor. Yes. So right. that was the African bronze, which is around that color there, and then they used the silver, which is um, that color there. And for the silver, I don't have silver like in the gilders paste, so I use the Inca gold. <clears throat> Hey everybody, I'm gonna go back to my database. I'm gonna use it. See if I can get it done. Caesar's going back. Everybody say goodbye to Caesar. Bye everybody. Oh, I'm gonna sit down. I don't need to use the, the same one or not. Oh, I love that one. Makes me happier. Get down some of those creeks. So, this doesn't look too bad. I think it's kind of cool. I'm kind of excited about it. I don't think um, I was a little, um, I mean, I was trying to look for something that was inexpensive to do, and uh, that's it. Well, this is cool. Oh, that sounds good. I love breakfast for dinner. It's one of my favorite things. I, but, you know, it involves bacon, so of course I'd love it. So, that sounds delicious, Patty. some of these and put a little paintbrush maybe.
it kind of brings out and makes it dimensional, which is kind of neat, don't you think, Xandra? This is one of my favorite ones. I love this. It's called German Silver. In fact, I probably should wait because I still have a few things to do. I'm waiting for Catherine. Uh, she sent them, so it's going to be covered in this. And here I am using it all up, and I'll be like, going, oh my gosh, desperate. But I love this color, and it's once again the um, German silver. It's kind of—it's a weird color because it's not really silver. It's kind of pewter, and then it's got gold in it, and it's got silver in it. It's got multi colors in it, don't y'all think? You have a waffle maker on the counter and a bacon and bacon in the fridge. Hey, baby, I'm coming over. It's just a Florida, right? Are you in Florida, right, Fran? Or have you, did you move or you live in Florida still? Oh, I'm sorry. Pretty cool, I think. Let me see if I can move this down. No, sorry. Y'all don't want to see my big fat tummy. <clears throat> can you see it now? Oh, wait. There we go. So I'm going in and I'm touching the fabric too in areas. Um, I think it's kind of cool. So it brings some of that out and then it has the black in the background, which I think is kind of neat for, um, um, what do you call it? Um, dimension. There you go. Thank you, Lord, for letting me remember the word. this too. I wonder what happens if you start sweating. In the Washington heat in August. Oh my goodness. just go in and just touch up some of those black areas with a little bit of uh, paste. Hold on, let me grab a paintbrush. Let's see, what can I use would be good? I wish I had a stencil brush, but I don't. I just have a little tiny brush that might work. Let me see, let me use some... Uh, Anti-gold. Right, let, let me try anti-gold. I think it's about dried up. Yeah, it's cracked. Excuse me. Mr. Brain, are you coming? I don't see. I don't. That's a bad thing. Is I don't know who all's coming. Catherine and. Kathy may, I mean, no, Catherine does. I don't know if Kathy does, but that's, are you coming? Let 
Yeah, I could sit here. You know what? I would. It would be just like me to try to stress myself out and do that because I would love to do that, but. <clears throat> Okay, I need to look at the screen, Jimbo. Come on. Um, you don't need to seal Gilder's paste. Are you going to seal it anyway? You can thin the paste with spirits. You know what? I think what you could do too is uh, kind of rub over it too with a rag to make it shine a little bit more if you wanted to. Because it's just like shoe polish. Um, but it'll be, yeah, it'll be fine. I just put a little bit of gold on it. Here, I'm using gold now. I want some of the black to show through still. Um, but I want to cover up some of those bald areas too. And then we'll call it a day. And then I'll start another one after I get offline with the uh, um, Eileen's stuff. Bunch of gears on the hat, didn't it? What's Martha got that we don't have? You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. We can do it. She may have a few more chickens. I'm going to go back and put some silver in too. silver call it a day okay how are y'all doing somebody just came hello whoever just came I wonder if this will set off any kind of uh, metal detectors at the monuments. Wouldn't that be funny? It wouldn't be funny. It's like, here, take my hat. So I'm just going to go over this once again, just real quickly. Is that, um, you know, you've know, heard it said a million times already, um, but just in case. Um, the cap was, the cap looks like this. Came from Hobby Lobby, two ninety nine, and if you're looking for just something, you know, um, the the the, the uh, fun foam was a a dollar forty nine a sheet. I used a thicker fun foam, which is about an eighth inch. They had a little bit thinner for ninety nine cents, but I went with a little bit thicker for a little bit more dimension. Probably would have been fine to use the other. And um. So you're really talking about, I used about three or four sheets of the fun foam. So it's what, what's that, uh, $6 plus $2.99. And if you used your 40% off coupon, that would be awesome. If you go to Joann's, 
um, they have a 15% off your total purchase plus 40% off is what I did today. So um, it's a good deal. You know what I mean? So it could be a really cheap kind of something to do um, for somebody or for yourself. So it was a, a pretty inexpensive project, obviously. And um, I think it's really effective. I think it's really cool. <clears throat> it may start to stink and melt out in the heat. But you know what? Maybe you don't have to wear out the heat. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna call that done. Kind of always find something, huh? Always, I can sit here and do this all day. Oh, that was so funny about the graphic 45 projects, y'all. I can sit there and get into detail for hours and hours and hours, but I only had five days to get them done. And um, I really wish, you know, it's one of those sad things that you really wish you had a little bit more time. But the paper um, didn't get back from the printers in time. So we had to use digi sheets. And um, um, I wish I had more time, basically, to play and make them look nice. That I could really get into detail. detail. I had to really stop myself and go, Jimbo, come on, stop. You're, you're doing enough. But I love details. I think it makes it fun makes things shine okay so anyway i'm gonna stop there stop in the name of the mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna go get caesar and maybe he could try it on for us oh i got glue glueage oh i forgot to put the lid on it where is the lid here it is so maybe caesar will try it on and model it for us what do you think you guys um, let's see. Hi, Jim, Seth, and gang. Hi, Artie Dar. How are you, love? I hear you're... Carol told me she's with you and our group. I am going to go get Caesar and wash my hands. I'll be right back. But that's what we're looking at so far. And I will bring you down to it in a second. Mr. Rodriguez, would you be willing to model for us? Perhaps? Did you see it? It really came up a little bit. Did you, did you take one of the, um, the knobs? Huh? Do you have one of the knobs? Somewhere? Do you have one of the knobs? No, why? Because there's only five number blocks. Huh? Did you see it? Yeah. I'm trying to find the other one, too. Uh, the knob, the yeah. knob, yeah. 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 Should I put it on? Huh? Let me see. It comes up like you love it. In the front? You bring it down in the front, right? Mm -hmm. Hold on, we're trying it out. No, not like that. I mean, you do this, don't you? To bend the bill. Mm -hmm. To bend the bill a little bit. Cool beans, Mom. That looks cool. You need to tighten it. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, squeeze my brains out. Really? Let me see. That's pretty cool. I mean, you know, maybe the bill needs a little bit more, but I think that's kind of neat. It's kind of arty. Here we go. Ready? Yeah! Get up close so they can see it, bud. Looks pretty good. So what do you think? Pretty cool. I think it needs a little um, gilder's paste right around the front. Hold on. Let me see. Come around this way. Right in your eyeball, I know. Okay. I like it. I think it's really cool, isn't it cool? It's very cool. So what do you think? Ratchet brain! 
Very nice. Cool. Done. Ratchet brain. Talk to him for a few shakes. <laughs> so he'll be he'll be right back. So here's everybody saying. I know it's kind of cool, isn't it? Here, I'll let you see it one more time. I know I should be telling people. I'm moving the camera. Oops. Yes, I am a handsome, handsome, I can't even say it, handsome devil, aren't I? <laughs> Bright. It's so cool. Very neat. Hey, Ardar. <laughs> yes, I took it off real quick. It actually kind of smelt. It smells kind of funky still. But it is kind of cool. I'll wear it. Very different. And did he tell you where he got the hats at? Very cheap. <laughs> Thank you, Fred. Uh, craft text. Did he use craft text? I have no idea what that is. I'm not. I don't. I don't do none of this stuff. I call things like thingamajigs, doodads. <laughs> I have no clue, but I'll ask him. Uh, you won't find a hat like that in the store. Yeah, that's true. But um, he got the 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 basic hat, super cheap at um. You got it. I totally got it. Yeah, at um, Home Depot. Not Home Depot. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby for like two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. I'm a big teddy bear. Bye, everybody. So anyway, that's it, you guys. I am done. Y'all can eat. And um, if you want to um, stick around, I'm going to do another one. So um, anyway, but that's, that really came out cool, don't y'all think? A little bit more right here. Well, I think it needs a little bit more. Keep it still off. Just wash my hands and now I'm going to go out again. Oh my lord. lord. So, anyway, okay, what are we saying? Let me hold on and look. Okay, uh, here I am. Great job. I know. I wonder what a white hat would look like. Probably cool. I wonder if they'd show as much dimension. Because you know, I'm all about 3D. So that's pretty awesome. I might have to try it on. Yep, it's definitely going to have to air out for me a little bit. Let's see what does it look like. Yep. <clears throat> It's pretty potent, <clears throat> actually. On my new craft sheet, I tell you, this gilded face, it's hard to get off. I can't get it off. Right. I'm crying out for a propeller. It is crying out for a propeller. And you know, I did think about that earlier today. I swear to you, I did. It would it'd be cool. We'll have to figure that out. It will have a propeller on it before the Steampunk's War Day. Looking good. So it's kind of neat. I just think, I mean, you could do this with um, flowers and bats and skulls and all kinds of stuff. So now we know to use what Fabri-Tac on it. <clears throat> Clock face would be really, really cool. Oh, thanks, friend. Clock face would be neat. Terp. What is Terp? Oh, Terp. What are y'all talking about? Terpentine and stuff. Artie Dar. Okay. So I'm going to start on another one. And, and y'all could go and eat and stuff like that. I won't be offended. 
but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna use the Eileen's fabric tack on. Uh, I'm sorry. What am I saying? I'm gonna use Eileen's Super Turbo on this one. So I'm gonna start over again, and um, I'm gonna get my sheets. I think it took about three, and I'm gonna pull off the thingies. Oh, use turpentine on my mat. You know, I don't have any, but that's a good idea. Because on that other one, you know, on that other one, in fact, if you ever get one of my tutorials, see that gold shimmer when I uh, do my mat. And it's, it's because I can't get it up. This stuff is all new. Like the straightest cutter ever, right? I love those scissors. I love all the Tim scissors. I really, really do. It's one of my favorite things. They don't make you cut straight, but. Okay, I was thinking about something I wanted to tell you. Oh, 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 oh. Um, Lafayette, I can say I have it because I have good taste and it's meant as a compliment. What what did you say? Can I have it? Can you have it? It's a you it is a huge compliment. You could have it as soon as are you talking about the hat or are you talking about somebody else's stuff? Because I'd be really embarrassed if you're talking about something that Kay made. <laughs> If you're talking about the cap, as soon as I um, get done with the soiree, you can have the hat. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to cure dye. Here it is. I wonder if I could do two at once. Wouldn't that be cool? Let's see if we could do two at once. You can. Yep, you can. It's awesome. You know, have y'all seen that where you can use the thicker um, fun foam and cut um, out the Sizzix or Tim Holtz um, shapes and make stamps out of them? You've seen that before, right? It's a really cool idea. Oh, thank you, Artie Dar. I appreciate it. I thought about that this morning. I thought, you know, I'd love to do something on the Ustream show tonight. And um, something was, you know, something that was fast and easy instead of a big project because I think that's what I need to stick with. It's faster, funner. And um, I thought about this morning. So thank you very much. And the cool thing is I, I work um, right down the road from uh, Ikea. Uh, one of my hospitals is right down the road from Ikea and uh, Joann's. So it's easy to just take a quick break and go run over there and grab something. Oh, you know, Stacy, that would be awesome. I, you know, do you get maybe all like the same way I am? It's like if you're in the moment and you're going on those trips, and then um, you don't have really time to process everything you're seeing or doing. But when you go back over the pictures and the papers and things you purchased, the souvenirs, and you go, oh, it's just so, it was such a wonderful trip. That was such a fun trip. I will never forget. Um, a couple of places. In fact, in, in fact, today we were talking about that. The first, one of the first 
stops we stopped at was, uh, oh, you know what, I need to stop um, recording. Can y'all hold on a second?